Here at the Nightside Project, we've got the commitment to help you finish your commute happy. Of course, we do that by finishing every episode with a Zen headline. Andy Farnsworth is my guest co-host for today. Thanks for stepping in for Alex, Andy. My pleasure. You're doing a great job. Let me give you a brief rundown. Okay. Zen headlines are just those news stories that make you smile, up, are uplifting, brighten your day, are cool, inspirational. Okay. They, they can kind of be whatever you want on that you whole positivity. You never want to end day on a negative note, so no, having something no, no, positive no, no, no. is always good. So what we ask people to do is we ask people to submit these Zen headline stories with the hashtag Zen headlines, and, you know, we'll use it and give you credit. Now, this one I found on my own. So I'm going to bring so it to you So going to give right Ethan now. Millard credit? It's actually a celebrity Zen headline story. Yeah. Celebrities do like Zen. Now, I, I know that there is a constantly changing appetite for celebrity news, both in co- quantity of celebrity news and in the specific celebrity Correct. you're talking about. But this one I thought was really great. It's Nicki Minaj. Now, you know Nicki Minaj, very, very famous musical artist, right? Yes. And she was having this contest on Twitter. She was going to pay for a fan to come over and join her for a major event. Okay. And people are asking questions. She's like, yeah, I'll bring you in from overseas. No problem. You know, I mean, she's kind of laying out the parameters for this. Right. And then someone texted her, well, this is great, but would you pay my tuition? (laughs) You know and what? People are daring. That's a Why dare. Why not? Why not throw that out there? Well, what you do know, you have so to lose by saying that? Sometimes people do. They do that with celebrities. Hey, will you go to prom with me? Yeah, that's a whole other thing. Right? And this I'm person so hit her up, and to everyone's surprise, she said she started asking a couple of questions, a couple of follow-up questions, you know. And over the course of an hour or so, Nicki Minaj paid thousands and do- thousands and thousands of dollars worth of education related expenses for her followers on Twitter. Wow. Now the, she actually did it, right? Yeah, and she verified the need. She had, you know, she had them submit all the documentation and everything like that. But these people approached her on Twitter. And then she cut it off. She said, "Okay, no I, more. I could do this forever because everyone That's would come right. For yeah. This. No more. We'll do it again some future date." She promised to do it again, kind of open it up again like that. Okay. But people are submitting. She asked for grades. Okay, well, prove that you're getting good grades. Prove that you really have this. Prove you know, that prove the that. education's worth something to you by taking advantage of it. TMZ uh, did a little bit of research and discovered that, yeah, those people are really getting paid. They're really getting their money. That's awesome. Isn't that amazing? You know, if, if you're going to get your bills paid... I prefer it to be in that way. For example, yeah. so it turns out my grandfather ended up paying for my college education. Okay. Uh, originally, he, he my, you know, my mother passed away when I was in high school, so inheritance money that was going to go to her was split among me and my siblings. Right. And I got a certain amount, and I ended up using that amount to pay off my student loan. So in essence, my grandfather paid my education before he was giving me a small amount that I would use to pay like a single semester's tuition. And then, and then, and then that stopped. And so I still had to, I borrowed the money. I finished the education. I did all those things. And I began repaying the student loans myself. And then I, he passed away, left me this portion. And I used that to pay off my student loans. So he ended up funding my college education completely instead wow. of just in part. But this was the difference. And this is why I was glad that it happened this way. Because as I was going along and having to borrow the money for myself, I had to make sure that I was like, okay, because I'm spending this money, I want to make sure I t- take as much of an advantage of the education. You know, like I want to take classes that I'd actually want to try to learn something in. I got to make sure that I'm getting my money's worth out right. of the education. But I, I worry or I wonder that had it been the other way around, had he said, here is this amount now at the beginning, and I said, all right, I'll apply it to my college education. If I would have taken the classes as seriously yeah. as I did thinking up until the point where I, I that he passed away that I was paying for it all myself. Yeah, that's an that's a really interesting point. That's an interesting point. And so I'm, I'm, I'm glad she asked for grace to say, look, if I'm going to pay this off for you, I want to at least know I'm not just paying for you to t- have another turn yeah. and try it again. Well, I'm really impressed with all of this. And uh, I'm glad that, uh, that TMZ went out and verified. Yeah. Because honestly, I've had enough of rich people... Saying they're going to do something. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take all this money. I'm going to give all the money, every bit of it to this charity. And then we find out yeah. that it's totally bogus and that 
totally a lie. I'm real tired of that. Yeah. Well, I got tired of that last year when we had to do it over and over again <laughs> with baloney commitments to yep. charity. And But for her to do it in such a transparent way, and then TMZ verified it. I found the story on Huffington Post. That's where I first saw the story. So, You know, uh, and I'm glad to see, you know, it, it goes to a specific need for a specific person. And yeah. that's not to say that donations to foundations and things that, that help people you know that doesn't. I don't, right. I don't. I'm not saying that minimizes any of those no, or you're makes right. this better. But I like to see that that specific money went for one person's specific needs and took care of something. You're right because a lot of those people have real needs, but would never even think to go to a foundation or some right. other organization because they wouldn't perceive themselves as being someone particularly needy uh, that might walk through the front doors of of an organization designed to help. So it was cool. So Nicki Minaj, great job. Props to Nicki love Minaj. Love it. Love it. Love you. I may download one of her songs as a thank you. I think that's the least we can do. Yeah. The very least, but it is something. So uh, thanks again, Nicki Minaj. We're going to wrap it up right there. If you've got a Zen headline to share, hashtag Zen headlines on social media. We'll grab it. We'll use it. We'll give you credit. You can also find us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Nightside Project. We'll see you next time.